1995, a series of commands are sent to Hubble's onboard computer that turn the orbiting telescope toward what is apparently an empty part of the sky. Hubble's powerful gaze locks on to this single region of space for 10 consecutive days, creating a series of exposures that would be known as the Hubble Deep Field. The Hubble Deep Field was a pretty astonishing idea. Take a telescope out in space and point it at one part of the sky and let it sit. Just take an exposure and then take another one and another one and another one and then add them all up. And what do you see when you do this? And you see galaxies, thousands and thousands of galaxies, a crowded, dense field that looks like you're taking a picture of fireflies out in a field at night. And yet this is a, you know, an empty patch of sky. Every smudge of light in this Hubble picture is a galaxy containing billions of stars. These galaxies are captured at various stages of evolution. From a time near the birth of the cosmos to the rise of spiral galaxies like our own Milky Way, scattered here and there in the Hubble deep field are the smash-ups of space. Galaxies crashing into and cannibalizing each other. We estimate that there are hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe. But it's only until you see that Hubble deep field and you understand that you're seeing a tiny little patch of sky. And yet it is filled to the brim with galaxies. And that's telling you that this universe is an astonishing and crowded and wonderful place. The entire history of growth and change in galaxies is written in this single image of the Hubble deep field.